Hello viewers, I welcome you all from HLT of Tech channel. Today we are going to see about editable JavaScript events in Dynamic CRM version 9.0. Uh, first of all, we will see a event of JavaScript that is called whenever of any value uh, of an attribute within a form of any particular entity is changed. Okay, so uh, let's look at it practically. This is my dynamic CRM development environment. In HRM, there is an entity that is a custom entity of branches. If I click it here, you can see that there are three attributes here. The first one is a single line of text that is a name. The second one is city and the third one is establishment reference. Okay, city uh, is a drop down option of uh, three options are available as drop down in city attribute that is city a b or c so what i'm going to do in this short video for familiarization of client own change uh, api reference uh, whenever i want to change the value of any city i want to show a alert of uh, alert window here showing any particular message okay so uh, what for that what I'm going to do I'm going into settings solution and in my custom solution in which that entity is created that is branch it is always recommended viewers that whenever you are going to create any custom entities always create them in a separate solution don't create them in uh, the default solution so that uh, the changes that you are taking in that you are making uh, must be separate they are always recommended so that they may not mix into the uh, core system so I have created a uh, entity that is branch here in branch if I go into forms this is a main form on which I am going to uh, define that JavaScript uh, as you all know that uh, JavaScript can be applied as a web resource on any attribute within a form so that's why I have opened a form and that form I am going to trigger or define uh, the JavaScript on that particular attribute on which I want to set the value that uh, for example I want uh, that whenever the value of the city is changed uh, a pop-up message may alert, uh, of alert may be appeared so I'm going to click on city and city in I am going into events okay so in form libraries first of all I will create a new J script uh, in which I will define a function and then I will define the event that on that event it will on which event it will be triggered so first of all I will click on add since I am going to create a new uh, JavaScript like a web resource so i will not search in the existing one okay i am going to click on new and in new i am going to uh, define the the name of that uh, javascript uh, web resource set city value okay i am going to define i am going to name it as set city value the display name will be the same you can define the description and in type here you can see that there are different type of uh, uh, web resources uh, available in Java uh, in dynamic CRM uh, for uh, as per the scope of this video I am going to select J script and uh, I'm going to click on text editor here I'm going to define a function since I'm going to uh, keep it up to the basic for familiarization so I will define a very uh, uh, easy function that is set value city okay so I'm I have defined a function that is set value city and in that function what I will do I will create an alert the alert will be city value is changed I am going to define a message that city value is changed okay so it's a very uh, basic function that uh, I have defined here 
I will click on OK. So the function has been defined, and I will also uh, what I will do. I will copy uh, this function name that will be used in triggering that event and publish. Now that I have published uh, that J script file as a web resource in my library, I will add that in the form library because this JavaScript web resource will be used in that form library to trigger any event and now since at it has been defined I will go into the event handler and in event handler since the control is of city I will define on change because we are talking about the function because we are talking about the function that is on change okay so on change event will be whenever uh, this uh, library or web resource will be triggered the function that is set value city that we defined there will, will be enabled and we will click on OK and after that we will click on save after saving that we will publish it I am going into that particular uh, entity that is branches and now in any existing uh, record if I go and change the value here you can see that when as soon as I change the value of any uh, of the attribute city to any other value the pop-up uh, that we defined was uh, uh, with the message of city value is changed has been appeared here it means that whenever the value on change that web resource that we created uh, whenever the event of on change is called the javascript uh, web resource that we defined in the form library has been triggered with the message that we defined in that particular javascript so i will click on ok after that the value will be changed so in this way you can define any javascript uh, web resource you can include it in that particular form library because all the javascripts are applied on forms so in that form you will uh, then define the event and in that event you will only name the function because uh, there may be multiple functions in that J JavaScript file Do you will define you will name only that function that is required to be triggered so after that uh, it can be easily applied on that particular form so viewers i thank you all for watching this video and i am also going to upload many videos now uh, related to javascript because we have already covered the administration administrative point of uh, dynamic crm i thank you all for watching this video